Hey guys, I'm Reed. That's Valentine. This is Samsung Business Television. Thanks so much for coming to the studio today, man. Really Thanks appreciate so it. Valentine Igbagwe hanging out with us, talking about three ways eFOTA can help manage firmware updates. But before we talk about uh, the three ways that it can do it, what is eFOTA? Absolutely. So eFOTA stands for Enterprise Firmware Over the Air. Mm -hmm. It allows organizations to be able to manage operating systems, maintenance releases um, that they want to go out on their devices. Okay, that's a, that sounds very useful. What are some of the business challenges that this helps address? A lot of organizations develop apps um, on the current software. Um, and whenever there's an update, there's a potential that that software can break that um, system right. that's running. So this is a really great way to manage you know, when the update hits the device so that the IT administrators have enough time to test before they push it out. So the other thing is organizations tend to deploy um, all types of uh, firewall configs and maybe network configs to try to prevent users right. from um, being able to do those updates. But with the Enterprise Foda, um, they no longer have to do that, and now you can just manage it from a single console, and it gives you all the control you need. So what are the main features of this? So yeah, there are, there are three main features, uh, starting with selective update, forced update, and then lastly with time control. So talk to us about selective update. What is that? Selective update allows the IT administrator to be able to select which updates they want to push out, um, do some vetting on it, and, and then based on the outcome of those results, then decide whether to push it out for the entire company or maybe do some vetting before it goes out. Like to a smaller group. Absolutely. That's pretty cool. What about forced updates? So forced update is really good because it, it allows the IT administrator to push out that update forcefully if there's a mission critical issue um, or if you know if they're testing something and they just need that update on those devices immediately. So what about what about time control? So time control allows an IT administrator to push out uh, the updates um, that have been vetted um, at a specific date or time uh, that's conducive for the business. So we're talking, you know, if there's a mission critical issue going on, you may want that update to go out immediately. Mm -hmm. uh, but if it's not mission critical, maybe you want to uh, schedule it for after hours so that it doesn't impact employee productivity. All right, so how easy is the, is the deployment process for this? Very easy. So as long as the IT administrator has an EMM console, they plug in the license and they can immediately start managing their uh, devices for enterprise photo. That sounds pretty, pretty simple. Very simple. Very simple. I thank you so much for coming to this team. I really me. appreciate it. Valentine Bogway hanging out with us today talking about the three ways that uh, eFoto can help manage your firmware updates. Hope you guys learned something I know I did. Check us out next time. And as always, we will see you on the internet. How easy is the firmware to deploy? <laughs> you don't need me to look at you at all, do you? What's also important is um, the I, second I, thing. I had it, I had it rolling. I For more information, go to samsung.com forward slash note8enterprise. Make sure you click the like button and subscribe. <laughs>